Coach, thanks for joining us. If you want to give uh, some opening thoughts on the win over Minnesota, and then we'll take questions. First, as always, appreciate you guys being on. It's, I know it's late. Um, you know, great game today. You know, tip of the hat, I knew how good Minnesota was. They've been ranked for a long time. They probably have an elite, one of the best guards in the league, and a big guy that blocks shots, and, you know, a group around them that are very good. So I knew today would be a real difficult basketball game, but um, Coach Patino does a really good job um, with his guys, and I knew they'd challenge us in every way, but, it, you know, proud of our guys, old-fashioned, like grinder. We grinded it out at the end. I think we went on a 10-2 to two run to finish out the game. Uh, our defense, some of our defensive stops were just, you know, terrific. And, um, you know, it's another game where we out-rebounded our opponent, which is, you know, been a struggle for us at times. And, um, you know, we got to the free throw line more than they did. That's been a struggle too. So, um, you know, just proud, grinded it out um, and, uh, you know, get get our fourth straight win in, in this league is, is not easy, but uh, can enjoy it for a few minutes. And then we play in Iowa, the best teams in the country coming up on the road. So uh, enjoy it for a day. Thanks, Coach. We'll start off with questions from Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, the uh, the last Minnesota's last two possessions in particular, I think everybody knew, you know, ball was going to be in Marcus Carr's hands. How how did you guys just keep him out of the lane, and specifically, how did Caleb McConnell do against him? Well, I will tell you, you know, you got to play team defense against, um, you know, Marcus Carr. So everyone was attached. I mean, Jacob did a great job in the first half. Montez, you know, uh, Caleb, um, and then our bigs had to do a great job too. So. It was really team defense. We switched a lot. Ron had to sit down too and guard him at times. And, uh, you know, and how about the plays that, you know, all those guys made defensively down the stretch? Big rebounds, you know, by Ron. Geo makes big plays. Caleb hits the three. Paul does all the things that, um, that don't show up in the box score. And then, you know, Miles Johnson, our bench gives us a good lift. Cliff was good. You know, Montez gives us a good lift. Jacob does what he does. So, you know, pleased with everybody, uh, but down the stretch, you know, Marcus Carr's a really good player, and you have to do a really good job on him, and, you know, I know he got 18 points. I know he had seven assists, but, you know, I thought he had to really work for those, and, um, you know, team defense, that's how you corral a guy like him. Steve, it was one of those uh, finishes, vintage Geo down there, taking the ball and hitting shots. Can you just talk about how big he was down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, he was, um, you know, confident, too. We I mean, make big free throws, and he got the big rebound, too, to kind of ice it there at the end. But, uh, uh, you know, he had a little foul trouble he had to play through today, some obstacles. But, um, you know, he made some big plays and, and uh, thankful, uh, you know, for, for that down the stretch, especially, and uh, made some tough ones, too, and, and, and got a few uh, looks for other people. So I'm um, real, real pleased. Um, Gio does a great job, and... You know, I couldn't take him out of the game other than the foul trouble today because he was he was locked in. Take the next questions from Brian Fonseca and then Richie after him. Steve, you mentioned this was a an old school grinder game. It was really back and forth, nail biter, twenty two lead changes. What does the team show you in being able to win a game like this and, and go down to the wire and close out so strong? I mean, just really, you know, proud of of, of the way we're we're defending now and, and we're rebounding too. Um, <clears throat> You know, we, we didn't get caught up. We made free throws in the second half, um, you know, to kind of wrap wrap things up, too. So, you know, good teams do those things. You got to get big stops, and we did when we had to, and we got fouled. We made the free throws, um, and we executed, you know, down the stretch, too, with the with the possessions that we needed to execute on. So, you know, overall, you know, just, just really happy. Went through a lot during the course of the game. Hard-fought game. I mean, our guys you know, really, you know, deserve a couple of days off here. Uh, try to get recharged and then head to, you know, one of the toughest places in the league to play in Iowa. Steve, you mentioned rebounding. I think um, mid-season it was you guys uh, got out-rebounded five games in a row, and now you've out-rebounded teams five games in a row. What would you say the biggest difference is between those two spans? Well, I mean, we're doing a much better job of putting bodies on bodies, and, you know, uh, we've made a huge emphasis of it. Our guys have taken on the challenge. You know, I think really – you know, Miles does a great job. Cliff, you know, does a great job too. Even, you know, he got one rebound tonight, but he boxes out. He's a big body, helps us a great deal. Uh, but I think everyone's real conscious of it. And, uh, 
you know, and I know down the stretch too, everyone wanted a, a piece of a rebound down the stretch and Ron went up and got that one. That was a huge rebound to secure at the end. We'll go to Aaron and then to Jerry. Hey coach, uh, you had a 19, six edge and fast break points. How, how important was the transition game tonight and how much did you expect that coming in? I mean, it's always important, you know, and a big part of that is every time I watch the tape, it's our defense. When we get stops, we can run. Uh, when we're not fouling people, we can run. Um, you know, so I thought we did a you know, good job advancing the ball and getting up ahead. Um, you know, and, and I also thought they did the same thing to us a few times, too. So our transition defense uh, wasn't exactly where we needed to be. But, you know, we, we like to run, and it's all predicated on, you know, the kind of stops that we're getting, too, really helps us. But we got a lot of guys that can advance the ball, and we got a lot of guys that can finish down the other end, and we certainly needed those those points tonight. Steve, what, uh, what explanation did you get for the technical at the end of the half? Yeah, I mean, just uh, there were some, you know, I guess some words exchanged. So, you know, I will have to watch the tape. I don't quite know what was said, but key to the battle. Okay, thanks. We'll go next to Bruce Beck. Steve, uh, you told us when you guys were on a losing streak that it was your fault. So now that the team is on a winning streak, who gets the credit? Oh, uh, you know, 100%. Um, the team you know, figured it out. Um, they decided that they wanted to be a really good defensive basketball team. They wanted to get back to doing the things that, you know, made us, you know, successful. But this league is just so good. You know, I, I don't know if anyone quite realizes the challenges that are in this league. And um, you could be a real good team and be on a streak in one way or the other. Uh, but our, our team, uh, I mean, and, and a tip of the hat, uh, you know, to, to all of them. They, they came. We've had, you know, better practices. They've done a better job, you know, stopping the other team's best player. They've done a really good job of boxing out. So credit to, you know, all of them, uh, you know, for stepping it up and doing doing just a terrific job. So it's their, it's their season. It really is. And, and they can make what they want out of it. Um, and, and, and we're excited about playing well, but we also know this league is is, is obstacles. We've got time for two more for Coach. We'll go to Chris Eisman and then let Aaron finish out. Steve, you mentioned, obviously, you know, being able to enjoy this for a few minutes and then uh, how tough this league is. I mean, how important is it for guys just to kind of have short memories and just kind of not get hung up in any one game, whether it's a one or a loss in a, in a, in a league like this? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. You know, you got to have short memory. You know, I, I like the way we hit adversity and our guys just kept grinding, you know, and it's a league where you got to keep grinding. I mean, um, you see the scores every night. Anybody could be anybody on any given. There are really good programs with great coaches, um, the tough venues to play at. Um, and, you know, it's a possession here and a possession there. It's a free throw. It's a turnover. It's a, you know, that kind of league. So, um, you better be able to, you know, plow through it and get ready for the next game really quickly. So we try to keep our guys, don't get too high, don't get too low, just, you know, understand the obstacles are numerous. Uh, Coach Caleb and Paul uh, both played, I believe, the last 12 minutes of the game. They uh, filled the stat sheet, but how important was their steadiness, uh, you know, throughout the game, but down the stretch uh, for the team to be able to pull it out? Yeah, I mean, you know, those guys do a lot of things that, you know, don't show up in the box score. And they got great length, terrific box out players, they're cutters. Um, you know, they share the game. I mean, Caleb obviously is feeling better, too. He was really good tonight, but he's come off that injury and it takes a little time to get in your rhythm. Uh, but they really defended, you know, down the stretch. And I liked, you know, I like those two guys. And when you watch the film, you even see them, you know, more of the things that they do that they don't get credit for. So um, they made some winning plays tonight, and, and, and so did everyone, you know, just so did everyone. I mean, Gio stepped up, and, you know, you can't you can't talk enough about Miles and how well he's played, and Paul and Caleb and Ron, and, you know, Cliff gave us great minutes, and Montez and Porton and Jacob. I mean, Jacob did some things in the first half that are hard to, you know, he's fast, he's quick, and, and he wore, 
you know, I think he wore Marcus Carr down too. So um, everyone important to us winning and, you know, got contribution from everybody. Bruce, did you have one last quick one? Or? Coach, uh, down the stretch there, it just seemed like it was so difficult to get over the hump to try to take that lead back. How proud are you of the group that they just kind of showed their tenacity, hung in there, and then Gio hit that step back jumper, and that was the first highlight, by the way, we put on the news because that was to us the big play that kind of gave you the the lead for good. Yeah. Well, I mean, we just kept grinding, and then you know when they hit that three, um, you know, by Robbins who who's made a couple threes, but that was a huge one. Um, you know, we just kept kind of fighting through it and uh, was real proud. They never flinched every time out and every huddle. They were they were together and they were, we got this, we got this. So, um, you know, tip of the hat. And, and again, um, you know, Minnesota is a really good, really good team. Tip of the hat to them. It was a great college basketball game, too. Um, you know, I would have really enjoyed it if I was sitting in the stands watching it. Um, but, uh, you know, good win for us at home too. And, uh, you know, we got a little time now to heal our bodies and, and, and get ready for that next obstacle.